My first question is actually a very elementary one, but it struck me the other day when I read about you that I never heard any explanation why you are named Hope. <laughs> How come you chose that name? No, it's a, it's a quite simple story, but it's very typical the way that we work together. But um, I think that we've been thinking about a name for a long time at this point. Uh, and I think you always kind of fantasize about a name for your company or your design brand. But anyway, I was looking through an art book at home okay. and it was this big painting and it said hope uh, in big, like uh, oily letters. And so I thought maybe, oh, here is something, this is something good. And uh, I developed it. Uh, and I called Stefan and I said, what about Let's Hope? Do you think that could be something? And uh, he said, well, you know, like he usually is, uh, let me think about it. And um, after a while, uh, we hung up and I think you discussed it a little bit with your um, wife or you just thought about it. And then you, he called me back and he said, well, why not just hope? And I think it's very typical yeah. for how we how we work together and how we kind of um, discuss things and take different things just on a higher level. Okay. <clears throat> when you established in two thousand and one, there was a lot of changes going on in the, on the Swedish fashion scene. Uh, what do you think? How in what ways did you challenge that scene? I think first of all, there was a lot of Danish fashion, very romantic, very feminine fashion on the yeah. market. Also, five pockets, denim. Everybody was walking around with denim and the jeans at that time. So when we launched Hope, talked about the whole concept. There was something that was, on the contrary, the opposite to what was actually seen on the market. So that was also a kind of strategy. So if you want to add something to the market, you just can't follow what's already on the market. So. So that was very important for us to find a leap on the market. I see. What was the one thing that you really felt was missing and that you wanted to contribute with? Since we started with women's wear, uh, we felt definitely that outerwear for women was something that was kind of too basic. I mean, women that could not get the same concept that the, the guys got with a nice coat, with a nice inside. Uh, normally it was just the shell fabric that was set for the women with a nice yeah. fit. So we wanted to give what men's normally got in a nice cut, nice fabric and also the nice inside. Uh, so the outerwear was really the, the gap where we felt this is where we're going to enter the market. I see. That's such a funny thing as well because it seems like it's always the other way around. That it's supposed to be like men's pair are very boring. So I think that's a very funny twist. What, but what was your wish, vision when you started? I think that because we've been working for a while uh, as employed and buyers and designers, uh, we had a quite clear vision uh, about the style that we thought was missing on the yeah. market, a style that we really loved, uh, that we saw was more common uh, abroad, but never in, a, in that um, specific uh, mix that we had in mind for Hope, which was really to make um, a lot of ingredients from men's wear into women's wear, um, find a very feminine fit, but with, um, as Stefan said before, fabrics and yeah. details um, that usually only men get. When you started, were you most focused on the Swedish um, market or the international, mar international market? I think the product that we wanted to do was something that we saw when we were traveling a lot. You couldn't really yeah. find it in Sweden at that time, in that kind of quality level that we were in, also design um, that we were thinking of when we talked about launching the brand. Uh, it wasn't necessarily something that had to be international. I mean, Sweden was on the market, but also at the same time go broader, not only start with Sweden as our local market. So I think that was very important for us to kind of reach up to see the bigger picture. How come you started in 2001? Was it a significant moment that made you decide that that was your, your year? <laughs> I don't know. I think that we've been discussing it for a while. Um, 
And for myself, I think I've been thinking about it my whole life, yeah. uh, just waiting for the right moment. And I think um, we came to a point um, where opportunities were, were there. Um, uh, Stefan had an opening in his uh, career uh, and um, I was really out of a contract that I've been in before. So I think that um, due to different, maybe more private reasons, um, I think we, we found uh, a moment that was not really maybe the best one because I think the market was kind of shaky yeah. in 2001. But I think we thought that it's maybe it's better to start off when it's a little bit uh, shaky and be up and running when yeah. um, uh, the market is better. Yeah. Or it's never a good timing, it's no. just go ahead and start. There are many examples in the fashion world of creative duos, but how come that you two wanted to work together? Since we met at Hennes and Maritz to start with, um, working on myself on the men's division and Anne on the, the women's division, we were friends, started off as, as very good friends, and we always talked about clothes. Okay. And we, we tried to employ each other for different companies afterwards. So in my case, I felt that I like to work as a team. Yeah. Uh, I would never, I think, I wanted to start my own business, but I didn't see myself do it as a, a solo career. I wanted to do it together with somebody. And with Anne, I felt very, uh, the same kind of view upon fashion and, and clothes. So it was quite easy to see what we were going to do if we did it together. What are the, what, what are the benefits of having a creative partner? I think it's, um, it's uh, the possibility of, of actually getting feedback very, very early in the process. And uh, when we work, we have um, uh, a very, what do you say, high level of communication because we yeah. know each other so well. So we can be very uh, straightforward and honest. And we also take different roles when we work. So we had, it was easy for us to take a designer role, um, a press role, a buyer role. Uh, as we got along uh, in the design process. So I think that that was, or, or it is still, uh, the biggest benefit. Do you argue a lot? It happens. <laughs> Um, you have to choose your fights and I think it's just a matter of being interested in what you're doing. Yeah. I mean, in, in the end, it's a matter of respect. I mean, if you don't respect each other, I think it will be a bad uh, result. So I think yeah. you need to have high-end discussions where you feel that you can express your feelings and ideas. Yeah. Something that is very striking about your design is that it pays so much attention to details. Why are they so important? I think it's because that's what we are so um, impressed about when we see other creative people's work. It could be a movie or a book. It could be actually be a, a meal cooked by a, a chef. Yeah. Um, we always uh, been very fascinated by um, people that pay a lot of attention to details. And we appreciate it ourselves. And when it comes to um, fashion, I think we we um, we know the the hard work with the handcraft. So we know that when a detail is really thought through, that it's so much joy and it's such a good feeling to wear it. Yeah. Uh, and I think that's why it's so important to us. Is it the is it the thing that divides like high street and from fashion, the concern of details? I think you need, I mean, for us it's a matter of, you know, you can make a, a, a jacket. Yeah. You can just take a fabric and you do a basic drawing, but it's so much more in with design that you have different dimensions. And I think that's when we started Hope was so important for us, not only to choose a fabric and to see 
well, that's the kind of trouser that you can see on the market. I mean, we wanted to do the product all the way through. Yeah. And I think on the, if you see the high street, and I mean, it goes very fast. It's like looking more towards what's happening on the market. We also do that, but much in a smaller proportion, I think. We are very loyal to our style and the concept. So I think also when since we started with only trousers and outerwear, it was very easy for us to to go work through the each product yeah. very focused and then you see the paramount of, of the details how important they are for the total look okay. it's, it's funny when you said that because I think that both the details and the, the choice of materials uh, that we that is so unique for Hope is, is very much the difference between fashion and high street. Yeah. And we are very fond of specifically those uh, ingredients. Yeah, because that's another thing that really stands out, the, the, the love for fabric. And I know that you are very passionate about that. Can you, can you tell us a bit more about... I don't know where, what it comes from really. I think it's just a matter of what you can do with fabric. I yeah. mean, I, since, as I said, coming from Hennes and Maurits, where it was more about choosing a fabric that was because it was the fabric. Yeah. Um, I felt that you, there's a jungle out there and there are so much nice fabrics. And depending on what kind of product you are going to do, you can choose different products and get totally different uh, products. Yeah. So I think it's just a matter of the, the variety you get by choosing different fabrics and what you can do to them, the way you treat them, the way you finish them. So I think that's something that is very creative. And it, it really makes a difference. Yeah. Um, and that care that you put into the choice, uh, you want the, the customer to feel uh, value. Uh, just by knowing and feeling uh, the difference yeah. in the small I think, I think for a trained eye, they can see and feel the difference. Yeah. I mean, for, for most of the, the people, they won't tell the difference. But that's all the small subtle changes or differences that the fabric can get. That really makes a difference to the, the whole total look of the garment. Yeah. 